on Sunday and Tahiti on Monday played sec second women's doubles on both those occasions but because the Koreans have a scratch pairing at second women's doubles it means that both these pairs both these pairs have scratch pairings at the second women's doubles which means that this normal second women's doubles is promoted to first and top ranked women's doubles so there is confirmation that Korea have topped the group because they've won the tie best of five matches in every tie whether it's Uber Cup or Thomas Cup Uber Cup Women's World Team Championships so Kim So Young is 29 years of age from Daegu which means Large Hill, that's the fourth largest city in the Republic of Korea. And she and her partner have been as high as four in the world ranking, uh, currently number five. Kong Hee Young is 24 years of age from Daejeon in the central region of South Korea. So their Olympic bronze medal in the semi-final, they lost the eventual silver medalist Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yifun, and then in the bronze medal playoff match, they beat their teammates, the higher ranked pair of Lee So Hee and Shin Siang Chan. So it was a wonderful occasion for Korean fans, the fact that they were guaranteed a bronze medal in the Olympics when two pairs were in the semi-final. So Chang Ching Kui is 25 years of age from the port city of Keelung, just near Taipei, the capital. Five foot five. And she has actually been as high as 35 on the world ranking with Yang Ching Tong. Oh, they actually reached the final of the Portuguese International Series two years ago. Her partner, Li Chia Chen, is 23 years of age, born in Taipei. Younger sister of Li Yan, who won the gold medal at the Tokyo Olympics in the men's doubles with a partner, Wan Chia Lin. So our umpire for this one is... Philip AMG from America and Iris Mitzbalu of Estonia is the service judge. Ah, now you can see the two black lines on the two bits of perspex there and what the service judge has to do is get in a position where those two lines match up and that then determines the height of 1.15 meters This one, Kim So Young and Kim Ho Kim Young. And their coach, Lee Kyung Won, Olympic silver medalist in Beijing in 2008. Three, 
at the recent Sudaman Cup. Up against a very experienced pair. a good placement of the smash from Chen Ching Hui. Well, during the Sudaman Cup, Morton Frost and myself were remarking on the family resemblance with Li Chiu Chen and her brother. Oh, Five, very two. similar, facially. the other got themselves out of trouble though good rally oh that's a pity seemed to get in a bit of a tangle with what shot she was going to play changing weight Forward, perhaps thought that her partner was going to come back from the net and take that shot. that time aimed towards the right shoulder of oh, Lee Chia Chin. to reach that. Ah, oh, can this be? Kong Hee Yong, not the tallest of athletes, 166 since about five foot five. Oh, she used every centimetre there to intercept that one. Oh, 
got in each other's way. They both went back. And both the players from Chinese Taipei were trying to cover the straight smash. And that's the problem with a new partnership. You don't have that understanding immediately. It takes time to build up that awareness of where your partner's going to move to, where you've got to cover. Again, same problem. Smash down the middle in between the two players from Chinese Taipei. Clash of rackets. Yeah. Five straight points. The Olympic bronze medalists Kim So Young and Kim and Kong Hee Yong have a handsome lead, a seven point advantage. Oh, crikey, she hasn't said much, has she? Lee Kyung Won. Doing great, girls. Just continue what you're doing. run of points. Five straight points it was before the big game into it. Well, it's now six straight points. smash you see she's shadowing afterwards i shouldn't have played that forehand i should have swayed the body and played a backhand defense well, we can all be wise after the event Chin. Oh, there was a huge, huge gap across court. Oh, wonderful badminton. running of the match so far. Oh, it's just wide. They're going to challenge. 
And I think it was just wide. I think they might well lose a challenge here. Here we go. What does the instant review say? Yep, it was wide. So only one, one challenge remaining. Well done, line judge. Oh, that was a marathon rally. <laughs> Longest rally, it certainly was. 42 shots. Pai Yupo played the first women singles front row, cheering on her teammates. I like that. They're such a hard-working pair, uh, Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young. Every rally, really concentrated, really intense. Oh, brilliant! some super rallies and the scoreline is not a reflection of what good badminton we've seen. So that was another run of five points. drop. <laughs> it looked as if Li Chia Chen was almost playing mixed doubles there at one stage. She was so hunting the net and rather than coming out and helping her partner determined to look for opportunities at the front of the court. So now Korea, just a couple of points away from the opening game. Yeah, it's so well worked. style, wanting to hit the shuffle down, wanting to evolve the front court player, has really paid dividends. 20 game points to six. Fourteen game points to be precise. Missed it. Nice. I like that rotational play by the pair from Chinese Taipei. Third game point opportunity. This time, complete miss hit from Chen Ching Wei. 21-8, the opening game. 15 minutes 
of some excellent runs. Well, the scoreline in that open game was not reflective of the pace and the rallies that we enjoyed. Second game, play. 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 Not the opening game to Korea, 21-8. Second game. Good defense. Yeah, it was lovely the way that Kong Hee Yong, when she hit her second smash, she started moving forward to the net and her partner automatically came out. Now, that's the big difference when you've got an established partnership. You have that understanding who's moving where. Exploiting the hesitation with smashes down the centre in between Zhang Qinghui and Li Chia Chen. Well, it's not only the technical skills to play that across court, it was the vision and the awareness that that's where the space was. Super play.
Oh, clever again. And once again, it's gone the young who's played the winning shot into the open space. Hard rallies, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, they're so solid in all departments of their game, the Koreans, solid in defence. No, is that so piercing? Oh, fine men's doubles player. Smash. Got back well to the quick serve. Six, eight. Yeah, flutter smash. And it was good power, good placement. I like the block and move forward from Lee. that oh my goodness that's a huge miss from Lee Chia Chen look where the defensive stances are of the Koreans all that she needed to do was a little block over the net and they were nowhere near it and it's gone long 11 6 
So 11-6 at the mid-game interval. Five-point advantage to the Koreans. Something about turning defence, I think. She doesn't like to say a lot. Oh, players are playing well. You don't want to confuse it. Still in progress. Both adjoining courts have finished. Scotland losing a thriller to Spain on the adjoining court. Service over 7 11. And Thailand in the Thomas Cup beating Algeria. So, our tight, the only one still in progress. Oh, that's super work from Kim So Young. a great drive defence and a misjudgment by Kong Hee Yong. Oh my goodness. Well, a moment to go. It was Lee Chia Chin who missed a sitter at the net this time. It's Kong Hee Yong. Goodness me, that was the bottom of the net. Oh, it's landed in. Service over 13-9. Defensive shot from Lee Chia Chen. Service over. She almost put 13. top spin on that, you know. Fabulous play. Delightful. Really stepped into the defensive shot. Look, she's ready, waiting, racket, head forward. So she could have defended forehand if she needed to. Stepped into that defensive shot, guided it across court, and followed forward to the net. That was very important.
Turn it in. That's good play. Score, 11, yeah, nice lift 15. from Lee Cho Chen. You won't see better than that. What a drop shot. 16-11. Played with disguise. Into the tram lines. And if you're not jolly careful and if you don't have really good racket head control, it's liable that you can drag the shuttle wide when trying to play that shot. Short. Oh, somebody dropped a racket. Pick it up, pick it up. Oh, oh no. Oh, she's all right. She's all right. She got a shuttle. I hope it wasn't in the face. Oh, goodness, yes, there went the racket. Was a, was a bit stunned, I think, to start with. Didn't know what to do. Went to pick up the racket. And that could have been nasty. And immediately, Kim So Young apologising. Uh, she'd got her head down enough because we've seen players get shuttles in the eye. And immediately, that's lovely, lovely sportsmanship by the two Korean players. They both immediately went to the net to ask of her well being. They certainly didn't mean to hurt her or even particularly hit the shuttle at her. 19, to keep 11. it straight down the line. Wonderful, wonderful skills. Good interception. But one suspects it's too little, too late. Opportunities. First time of asking. Twenty one eight, twenty one twelve, the margin of their victory. The Olympic bronze medalist Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young. Yeah. 35 minutes and the victory secured for Korea. 21 8, 21 12. And a four love lead in the tie. Yeah, <laughs> no wonder they're happy. They had some very good rallies there, and I think that the pair from Chinese Taipei, in only their second event together, have shown huge potential. And I think we'll enjoy seeing them play a lot more often. 
in the future. This was the match point opportunity. Smash down the middle. Narrows the angle of reply and Kim So Yong. Julie put it away. So a convincing victory for the Koreans. One more match to come and it's two scratch pairs. It's Che Yu Jong and Shin Young Chan up against Su Ya Ching and Yu Tian Wei. So welcome back to Sirius Park and the sports facilities here. Isn't that a wonderful football stadium? And of course you can see the running track there as well. 